Scrapbooking.com magazine presents the following Meet the Artist article from the November 2011 issue, B.B. Lindahl of Nature's Print Shop by Judy Kaufman. Projects by B.B. Lindahl and Judy Kaufman. What do you think of when you think of Norway? Is it mountains and ski sweaters or perhaps churning seas and Viking ships? When I think of Norway, I think of my friend B.B. Lindahl. Like artists everywhere, B.B. usually has a smudge of ink or paint somewhere on her person. She inhales the world through her eyes and hands, taking in the tiniest details, a fallen leaf, a flower, or a fern. She has a quirky sense of humor, and she can be found in her studio more often than on a ski slope, but she loves to hike, travel, and garden. B.B. has a background in graphic design and fine arts. She's tried her hand at every craft and technique under the sun, but the one that's stuck over time is rubber stamping. She bought her first stamps from a company in Italy in 1992 and started her first stamp company in 2000, but sold the company and went back to college in 2005. Since 2010, she's worked as an NLP counselor or life guide, helping people get in touch with their inner resources. B.B. launched her current stamp company, Nature's Print Shop, in 2011. She says that she formed the company largely so she could have all of the stamps she wanted for her own use, but it also came from her desire to own and run her own business. Things have come full circle in a sense. The owner of the company in Italy that sold B.B. her first stamps has moved to Florida, and it is she who manufactures B.B. stamps. Now stamps don't need to cross the ocean to reach her North American customers, so orders are filled in a matter of days. Bibi's love of nature is evident in her stamps. Each sheet begins with various botanicals Bibi has printed, then manipulated in the computer to create rubber-ready artwork. She includes phrases on some of the stamp sheets and has plans to expand the line to include more phrases and original drawings too. Bibi considers herself a crafter rather than an artist. To Baby, an artist expresses herself through an art form, whereas she crafts for the sheer fun of it. Process matters more than results. Her studio is what she calls her free zone. In addition to her creative play, this is the space where she guides her clients, often using drawing, painting, and sometimes rubber stamping as part of the therapeutic process. Whenever she travels, Baby takes her printing gear along so she can make nature prints. She enjoys everything about the process from beginning gathering to end, selecting the best prints to turn into stamps. Bibi said, it's not enough to just look at a flower. I have to get to know its qualities by touching it. My fingers are just as important as my eyes. Every leaf feels different, even if they come from the same tree, and they all take ink in different ways. If you were in the Canary Islands last year and saw a woman with black ink stains all over her hands and a hibiscus tucked behind one ear, that was Bibi Lindell. I hope we can convince Bibi to bring her printing gear and inky fingers in our direction sometime soon. Meanwhile, it's easy to know what she's up to by following her blog. To find the products featured in this article and shown in these projects, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse our premier retail stores for coupons to a store near you. We hope you enjoyed this article from Scrapbooking.com magazine. Please check out all of the great articles and projects in this month's issue.